So today, Iran launched approximately 200 ballistic missiles at Israel in a reckless and brazen attack. I condemn this attack unequivocally. I'm clear-eyed. Iran is a destabilizing, dangerous force in the Middle East, and today's attack on Israel only further demonstrates that fact. Earlier today, I was in the Situation Room with President Biden and our national security team as we monitored the attack in real time and ensured that the protection of U.S. personnel in the region is paramount. I fully support President Biden's order for the U.S. military to shoot down Iranian missiles targeting Israel, just as we did in April. We are still assessing the impact, but initial indications are that Israel, with our assistance, was able to defeat this attack. Our joint defenses have been effective, and this operation and successful cooperation saved many innocent lives. As I have said, I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself against Iran and Iran-backed terrorist militias. My commitment to the security of Israel is unwavering. And let us be clear, Iran is not only a threat to Israel, Iran is also a threat to American personnel in the region, American interests, and innocent civilians across the region who suffer at the hands of Iran-based and backed terrorist proxies. We will never hesitate to take whatever action is necessary to defend U.S. forces and interest against Iran and Iran-backed terrorists. And we will continue to work with our allies and partners to disrupt Iran's aggressive behavior and hold them accountable.